Hey guys, welcome back. Marco here from blitzguitar.com. Happy Saturday. Today we're checking out this um, beautiful Spanish intro, okay? And I want to talk to you about this concept called question and answer, okay? We're going to create a beautiful conversation between two different parts. One part is based on chords, one part is based on a melody, okay? And we're going to combine both of them to create this beautiful intro, okay? The chord progression is very simple. And I'm going to take it step by step and show you exactly what I was playing in the intro, okay? Let's have a close up and let me show you how to play that. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to keep up with all the upcoming lessons. Guys, let's get started and have an awesome weekend. Awesome guys, let's get started. Uh, we're going to have two different parts. Let's start with the first one. Chord progression is very simple. A minor, G major, F major, and E major. Okay. I also like to play an uh, E7 um, flat 9, which sounds a little bit more Spanish than just an E major, okay? Now, how does it work? Let me just play the whole thing slowly. So as you can see, I have two different parts. I have a chord, which we will call a question, and then I have a melody, which I will call answer. Then a question, that's another chord, G major, and then I have an answer, which is the melody. Question with the chord and an answer. Okay. So by doing that, you can really give a structure to this intro. Okay. So let's get started with the first chord, A man, very basic chord. Okay. And I'm going to pluck the strings individually. Okay. Fourth string, sorry, fifth string, fourth string with the thumb, second string, third string with middle and index, fourth string with the thumb and the first string with the ring, okay? Now the awesome thing about this part is the fact that you wanna let it ring out, that is no rhythm, okay? So you just play the thing, and you let it ring out. And then we're gonna play the phrase, which is the answer. Okay? Now we're gonna break it down in four different parts, okay? The first four notes are gonna be Okay, and it's the third string for number two. And on the second string, I have second open, fret one, fret three. Okay, I'm always alternating with the right hand, guys. Really, really important. Eh? Doesn't matter which finger you start with, as long as you alternate with always either index and middle finger or middle and index. So the first four notes. Then I have the second uh, group of notes, which is this one. Okay. First open, fret number one, friend, um, first open, fret one, first open. Okay? Now the second group of notes uh, will have a hammer on and pull off. So I have the first open, fret one, then I play the first open, and I have hammer on on the F and pull off on the E. Okay? Then I move on and I have the second uh, string, fret number three. First open, second string fret three, and fret one. Okay, and I have then the last group of notes, which is the second open, third string fret two, and the second open. Okay, it's a lot of notes, so I'm sure that you're breaking it down in different sections. Okay, so when I put together the first two parts. And then I move on to the second chord. Okay, the second chord is G major, and again we have a chord and a phrase, question and answer. Now the G major chord is very simple. Sixth string fret number three with the thumb, 
fourth open with the thumb, second uh, open with the middle, third open with the index, fourth string with the thumb, and um, second string with the middle. Very simple chord, okay? You let it ring out, and then you have the phrase. Okay, that's a very simple phrase, it's much shorter than the first one, and is uh, it sounds like that. So I have the third string fret number two, I have that three times. Then the third open, and the third string fret two. Okay? Now, that note will lead me into the F, the F major chord, okay? So you have the G major, phrase and then I move on to the F major chord now this F is probably the uh, challenging chord in this part because you're gonna have the sixth string fret one fifth string fret three fourth string fret three and the third string fret two it's like a basic F major chord without a bar okay so you only play sixth fifth third sorry sixth fifth fourth and third and the way you pluck the strings it will be with the thumb on the sixth um, index on the fifth ring on the third middle on the fourth index on the fifth and thumb on the sixth okay so after the F have the answer you have the phrase okay and the phrase goes like this so we have the third string fret number two second open fret one fret three fret one second open okay We have the third string fret two and the first open. All right, and we finish with this beautiful chord E seven flat nine, which I'm going to play with the thumb. Okay, sixth open, fifth string fret two, fourth string fret three, third string fret one, second string fret three first open. It's a really stretchy chord so make sure that you really you know practice this chord slowly and keep the thumb all the way down. All right so this is the first part of this intro so quick recap I'm gonna do it slowly A minor phrase G major phrase major phrase and E all right guys let's keep going we're gonna have the second part of this Spanish intro and this time I want to play a different thing I want to play much more of a melodic um, idea okay so I'm gonna play that So I'm gonna change position and I'm playing the melody on mainly the first string, okay? Start with an A minor chord and I have a bar chord on fret number five, all right? I'm gonna plug the, uh, it's a three strings bar chord and I'm gonna plug the second string and then the first string and then the first string fret seven and the first string fret number eight, okay? I always want to alternate with the right hand, yeah? Now, really important, guys, we're coming from uh, a E7 flat 9. So you want to let this chord ring up, and then I move on into that phrase. So take your time on the E7 flat 9 before you jump into the next section, okay? Now, once I played the first four notes, 
Then I have the 5th string open, 3rd string fret 5, 2nd string fret 5, and the 1st string fret 5. Okay. It's an A minor chord, very basic triad. Then I have uh, another phrase, the same exact phrase, 2nd string fret 5, 1st string fret 5, fret 7, and fret 8. Okay, so... Then I move on to a G major chord, okay? Now, um, the G major will be played with the 1st and 2nd string fret number 3 with a bar chord, okay? And I have the 3rd open string. So, it's a very tiny chord, okay? There's no bass note. I don't really have the bass. So the, the root note is on the third string open and it sounds very um, tiny, okay? So what I have? I have the third open string, second string fret three, and the first string fret three with the bar chord. Then I have fret five on the first string and fret seven, okay? Then the third open, the second string fret number three, Okay, fret 7, 5, and 3. Okay, it's a really stretchy um, way of playing this melody. Especially if you want to hold the bar chord down. Okay, so really take it step by step. Then we move on to the Next chord, which is F, okay, um, F major. Okay, so what I have, F, again, bar chord on the fret number one, first and second string fret one, the fourth string fret number three, third string fret five, and the first string fret five. So I'm kind of changing this F major, I have two different positions. same chord but because the melody is on the fret 5 I just want to change position so so far we have A minor G F and we finish with an E major and a um, F diminished okay or E7 flat 9. So the E major is very simple guys. 6th open string, 4th string fret 2, 3rd string fret 4, 2nd string fret 3, and the 1st string fret number 4. That's a proper E7 chord. And you know I plucked that with thumb on the 6th, thumb on the 4th, index on the 3rd, um, middle on the 2nd, and ring on the 1st. And then after that, I'll play uh, the diminished chord. So you want to play exactly the same chord, the only thing that changes is the fourth string, which is going to go on fret number three. So we go from E7 to an F diminished chord. Okay. Um, which is a beautiful chord. Okay, and it creates a lot of tension that they want to resolve on the A minor chord. So now after that, you can learn the the melody that I that I um, that I already um, explained you in the previous video. Okay, so make sure that you check the description and click the link if you want to have both video on the same page. Um, so that you can also learn what the melody that you know you can uh, play after the intro. So good luck with that, guys. Just a lesson to show you how you can create some beautiful melodies with question and answer. So I hope you like that, and I'll see you next time for another lesson.